leading up to retirement, a couple years out, I started making plans, all these ideas in my head. When I retire, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that. And a lot of these things I was going to do with my dog. It never dawned on me that um, <clears throat> Chowder was actually getting old. He had always been the pinnacle of health. The vet said to me one time, he said, your dog's a stud. Yeah, he was. He was muscular and just beautiful. I fell in love the first time he kissed me. Sorry, Kim. <laughs> Her too. <clears throat> I don't want to be in the same situation that Tony is. <clears throat> so, um, <clears throat> I was going to go fishing, and I actually put pause on some of the things I did. I didn't go fishing as much. I didn't go hiking as much, because when I retired, I was going to do these things. About a week before I retired, Chowder got sick. And I said to Kim, and I know this caught her off guard and caused her to pause a little bit. I said, I think he's dying. Because he lost some muscle mass too. So I took him to the vet. <clears throat> and... <laughs> The vet has this magic pill that lasts for a while. But they tell you when it stops working, it stops working. So <clears throat> whatever this medicine is, I gave it to Chowder. And he was great. On Friday, he went out for a walk with my wife, just like normal. And he pulled and barked at other dogs and was obnoxious, just like normal. Kind of like his dad. By Sunday, he was on his deathbed. Monday, he had him put down. And Tuesday, I retired. I was pretty pissed off at the universe. But you know, the universe didn't push pause on my life. I did. And I had the control to push play. Makes it sound like an old Walkman. Some of you don't even know what I'm talking about. <laughs> <clears throat> so I've been pushing play. And yeah, I have another puppy. It's not chowder. But it's another puppy. I took our new puppy, Linus, and our older dog, Charlie Brown, out fishing. I took Chowder, too. Three of us went in. Three dogs. Two of us came out. In the fall, Kim and I went to New Hampshire and we climbed a mountain up there. Kim's first time she was ever above the tree line. <clears throat> that was one of the things I wanted to do with Chowder. He joined us. She doesn't know that. And he stayed up there. So, <clears throat> I guess what I learned here is that keep play on. It's too easy to push pause and then to justify it. I had all the best reasons not to go fishing. No longer. So play is on and that's the way I'm living my life. <clears throat>